the next five to ten years. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. It is the perfect time for all of you to consider how you would like to be moving forward in this next phase of your evolution. You are getting to decide how you move forward in spite of what you might be told from others. Others who make it seem as though the next five to ten years are set in stone for all of you, and nothing could be farther from the truth. You are the pioneers here. You are the creators and co-creators, and it is your time to be the deciders, the ones who actualize your own evolution. You can, of course, just wait and see what happens. You can look for new predictions to tell you what's going to happen next, or you can take the wheel and decide for yourself what it's going to take for you as individuals to evolve. Do you need drama and trauma in your life to be inspired, to feel your emotions? Do you need hardship in order to create? Do you need to see evidence of the rest of humanity lagging behind in order to do something about the evolution of your consciousness? When we talk about the evolution of your consciousness, we want you to know that it is something that happens automatically, but it is also something that you can facilitate. You can put your foot on the gas pedal and bring yourselves to a heightened sense of awareness. You can choose to love more, to meditate more, to connect more with nature and Mother Earth. You can reach out to other aspects of yourself. You can reach out to higher dimensional beings. You can be an active participant in the evolution of your consciousness, and you can steer the rest of humanity in that direction as well. You don't have to sit around and wait for something to happen. You don't even have to wait for some grand inspired idea. Just stop what you're doing from time to time and check in how you are feeling, how you're vibrating. Do some conscious breathing. Meditate if you have to. But just be sure you are taking care of the evolution of your own consciousness. Bringing the human race together. We have discovered that the greatest strength that humanity has is your ability to listen to one another and understand where the other is coming from. This ability that you have is what gives you compassion, and that compassion allows you to tap into the unconditional love that you truly are as source energy beings. The opposite of what we are talking about here is also present on planet Earth. You have plenty of people who are unwilling to see or even attempt to see another's perspective. We find this to be what polarizes you on many issues. There are probably a few issues for those of you who are listening where you find it next to impossible to understand where someone else is coming from, someone who disagrees with your perspective. If you can admit that, you can start to move in the direction that will bring you together as a human collective. If you can find the desire within you to allow others who disagree with you to have their perspective, then that is another positive step forward for humanity. You might think that what we are talking about here is not significant. You might think that some cosmic event is going to have a bigger impact than what we are talking about here. But think about how strong you would be if you could come together as one human race. Think about what message that would send to your extraterrestrial friends, and think about a planet where there was peace, harmony, and collaboration, rather than a 24-hour news cycle where most of these hours are filled with talking heads, screaming their perspective at one another. We suggest that you turn away from anything that is a polarizing program, and that you seek instead to understand your next-door neighbor, your co-worker, or even someone in your own family who has a different perspective than yours. You will bring the collective together one step at a time. Humanity's Timeline We have the foresight to determine what is best for the human race in the long run and we can give you messages and transmissions that will put you in a vibration that is more likely to influence you onto a particular timeline. You still have the free will to decide for yourself what you are going to do, how you are going to vibrate, and which timeline you will ultimately choose. We love you and want what is best for you, and so we look at all the variables in determining what is best for you to know and what energies are best for you to have access to. Now you can do the same for yourself, and this is what we want to encourage you to do. It is more challenging for you because most of you only access the past and the present, but that is enough. It is enough to be present and to feel for the vibration of the timeline that you're on. You can determine for yourself whether that timeline suits you or not. 
What becomes more challenging for you is when you attempt to take the temperature of humanity and determine the vibration that the rest of the collective is offering. It can be very challenging for some of you to believe that humanity is headed in a positive direction at all. But that is usually due to the fact that you are tuning in to what the media is emphasizing. If you want to truly take the temperature of humanity and access the truth of the collective vibration, you need to connect to Mother Earth and feel for the vibration that she is giving off. You can also look at the people around you and notice how they are evolving. You can tell by how a person's energy feels whether he or she is moving in a positive direction. And although it may be hard at times to notice, we know that you can feel for the progress in the beings that you connect with on a regular basis. We know that you can, with a little effort, feel for the motion forward that humanity is making. And you can rest assured that this timeline you are now on is one that will lead you to a more joyous journey, and ultimately, to the fifth dimension. Your Light Bodies you have transitioned yourself so much already that you are not even the same being that you were just a few years ago. You have come so far and evolved so much, and you are ready now, as a result of that evolution, to be allowed access to the light bodies that are within you, that are occupying the same space as your physical ones. Here is what you can do with your light bodies. You can shapeshift. You can transform yourselves into whatever form you want to be. You can levitate, you can fly, you can bilocate, and you can teleport, so of course you can cure yourself of anything at all. You would so easily find yourself healing that you would never fear harm to your light body. One of the ways in which you access this light body is by no longer thinking of your physical body as who you really are. When you stop identifying yourself by your physical body, when you stop seeing it as who you are, you become less attached. And when you are less attached to your physical bodies, you can access a truer representation of who you really are. That is what light bodies are. They are more accurate representations of the eternal and infinite consciousness that you really are. They are more expressive, and of course they hold more light. So you will feel better about being physical, because you will still be physical when you fully access your light body. But here is the thing. You won't think of yourself as physical beings. You will think of yourself as consciousness that can take form, and that is very liberating. You can release yourself from the cycle of birth and death and reincarnation, and you can just be who you really are. The Destiny of Humanity It is the destiny of humanity to ascend, and you all have chosen to be part of that journey. This is a time of much deliberation because there are so many beings in this universe who want to help humanity. Now, in the same way that when you are teaching a child to tie his or her shoes, it's better that the child does the majority of the tying. In your case, it is better that you do all the majority of the heavy lifting. Now, what we mean by that is your pathway to ascension involves facing a lot of heaviness. It is why you are seeing so much negativity in many different forms on the planet right now. You cannot just have beings landing their ships and making everything better for you, removing those in power who are not of the light. You need instead to face all that is in front of you and take the emotional hits that you are taking. Some of you are doing this in your personal lives with family members, spouses, children, people who are challenging you in all of the many ways that they can. Others are more globally focused in taking the hits from seeing the bombing and the shooting, the hate speech and the divisiveness of your polarized society. Here's how we decided to support you. We are going to continue to transmit unconditional love to the human race in order to activate more of it within you. But it is up to you whether you accept that unconditional love. At times, you have to let go of whatever it is you are focusing upon that is you clenching up so that you can relax and receive. And when you are open enough to do so, you will feel the love and light that is coming to you from the higher realms and you will be able to look upon your fellow humans through the eyes of love. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you.